In today's tutorial, I will show you how to set up a Discord bot using JavaScript and Node.js. This is what the final result will look like once you have your Discord bot set up. You can see that my Discord bot is currently online. And then if I type in the word quote, it will randomly reply back of a quote that we get back from a quote API. This is just one of many things that you can do with a Discord bot, but the main purpose of this tutorial is just to show you how to quickly set up your own Discord bot. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is to download Node.js. So if you just go to this link here, you can download Node.js for your current operating system. Once you've successfully downloaded and installed Node.js, the next thing we want to do is to configure our Discord bot. We can do that by going to this link here, and I'll make sure I leave a link in the description. But once you're on this page, just log into your Discord account. Once you've logged in, you should see a similar page to this. Then click on New Application. Then type in any name you would like, and just click the checkbox here and click on Create. Once you're on this page, go over to the left hand side and click on bot and then click the add bot button and click yes do it. Now that we've created the bot, we just need to configure some permissions for it. So on the left hand side, just click on OAuth2 and click on URL generator, then click on bot. And for bot permissions, just for this tutorial, I'm going to click on administrator. However, when you're configuring your own bot, you should only click on the permissions that your bot will actually end up using. Then if we scroll down, you should see a generate URL. Just click the copy button. Now we can add a discord bot to our server. If you haven't set up a Discord server yet, I'll show you how to do that right now. So if we just switch over to Discord application and just make sure to log in. Then just click this plus icon that says add a server. Then click create my own. And you can just select the other options. And then for the name, you can just type in whatever name you want. I'll just do like tutorial example and click on create. And now you just see a new Discord server has been created for you. Now we can go back to our browser and just paste in the link that we copied from earlier. Now we just need to tell it which server to join. So we can just tell it to join the server that I just made, which was tutorial example, and click on continue and just click on authorize and just check the box here. And now it's successfully been authorized. If we switch over back to Discord and we look at our server that we just created, we can now see that tutorial bot is currently offline, but it is in our server now. So the next thing to do now is actually write some code to interact with our Discord bot. We can do that by going to our code editor. In this tutorial, I'll be using Visual Studio Code. Then in the terminal, we can just create a basic project by typing in npm init y and hitting enter. And you should now see a package.json file has been created for us. Then we just need to install some packages. I'm just going to paste the command here, but it'll just be discord.js, axios, and .emv and just hit enter. Once those packages have been installed, we just need to create a new file now called index.js and hit enter. Then inside this file, I'm just going to paste the code here. I will also leave this code in the comment of this video so that you can copy it easily. Then one more thing we need to do is to create an environment file to load our Discord bot ID, which I'll show you how to get in a second. But first, let's go ahead and create the file. So just .env and hit enter. Then for the key, we can just go back to the code and copy the Discord bot ID. Then we can switch back to the browser and go back to the Discord settings and then go to bot. And then here you see a section where it talks about a token. Click on reset token and click on yes, do it. And then now you should be able to see your token here. Just make sure to keep this token secure and not share with anybody, but just copy it for now. Then we can go back to the code and inside our environment file, just make sure to paste it as a value and hit save. Now we can close this file and go back to the code inside of the index.js file. And now I'll explain what this code is doing. On line four, we're just importing the items that we need from the discord.js package. On line five, we're just configuring what events that the Discord bot can receive. And so these are the ones that we need for this specific tutorial. Then starting on line 13, anytime a message created, then we're going to tell the Discord bot to do a couple specific things. The first one is to listen when the message says ping. And if it does, we're going to tell the bot to reply with Pong. And the other condition is if you type in the message of quote, then we will reach out to this quote API and just return a random quote, which is the example that you saw in the beginning of this tutorial. And lastly, on line 29, we're just actually uh, log in with the Discord bot ID that we got from earlier. One last thing that we need to configure is if we go back to the Discord bot settings and we scroll down, just enable this message content intent setting and just click save changes. Then we can go back to our code. And if we just type in node index.js and hit enter, you should now see a message saying the bot is ready. If we switch over to Discord now, you should now see that your bot is online. And if we type in the word quote, we should now see that the bot replies for a random quote that we got from the quote API. And if we type in ping, it should return with Pong as well, as you can see here. And that is the end of this Discord bot tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.